Hi, Tom here, and here are two simple ways to draw a cube and add some tone using 4B and 6B pencils. To draw the first cube in a very simple way, just draw an even square. Try to make the uprights parallel with the side of your paper. And then once you've got a square that you're happy with, the next step is to draw a diagonal from the top right corner going in a straight line. And now whichever angle this diagonal line that you draw is, you need to place two other diagonal lines exactly the same angle as the first one. Then you draw a vertical line, which is parallel to the side of the paper and parallel to the original square. And then you draw a horizontal line, which is parallel to the paper and the original square. And then you have a basic cube. So that is the most simple way, I think, to draw a cube. And I'll just shade it now using some time lapse just to go through the shading. It just takes about 10 minutes, 5 minutes. And I used a 4B and a 6B pencil. With the shading, just make sure one side of the cube is light, one side is medium and mid-tone, and one side's dark. And then you can do various shadows as well to create a more three-dimensional solid form for your cube. So after we've done this one, the next one we'll do is a slightly different cube, seeing it from two sides. So we haven't got, it's a cube, but none of the sides of it look exactly square because they're all at angles, whereas this first cube, the front of it, is a perfect square. So for the second cube, start again with a vertical line, which is the height of the cube that you want. And then we need two diagonal lines going from the top and the bottom of this line, and both of them are parallel again. Parallel means lines which don't get nearer or further away from each other. So next we need two more parallel lines going the other direction. Next we need to add a third diagonal line, which again is parallel to the first two, and that will show the depth of the cube. But once you've got that third parallel line in, then that will tell you where the next vertical line is. And we need a third line on the right, and that just needs to be a similar distance from the middle line as the line, the vertical line on the left is. And now in this drawing, the last line will be the third diagonal line, which will be parallel to the other two diagonal lines which are going left. So there are three diagonal lines which are all parallel going left, and there are three diagonal lines which are all parallel going right, and there are three upright lines which are all parallel going upright. So again, I'll just speed up the video at this stage and put in some tone. One side light, one side medium, one side dark, and then a variety of shadows and reflections on the surface which is on. I hope you enjoy these videos and find them useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, for over 100 different videos of how to draw, including several other cube drawings, including optical illusions using cubes and some more complicated things. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.